Hey everyone, John here from testpreppinsight.com, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Russian language program from Pimsleur. I'm going to cover how the Pimsleur program is structured, what their learning method is all about, the pros and cons of using this course, and whether I think it's an effective program for learning Russian. And just as a heads up, since I'll just be covering the major highlights in this video and trying to keep things short, if you find you need some more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review of this program over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Pimsleur Russian Review. It's the quickest way to get there. Okay, so let's first discuss how the Pimsleur Russian program is organized and how it works. So from a high level view, there are five different levels to complete in the program, each one increasing in difficulty and within each level, there are 30 lessons. So 150 lessons in total. And as for what the lessons look like, each one starts with a 30 minute audio exercise, which is then followed by a variety of practice exercises to reinforce what you just learned in the audio portion. And in terms of time, you're looking at around 60 minutes to complete an entire lesson from start to finish. Now, as far as what the Pimsleur learning method is all about, it's really based on three core principles, context, anticipation, and interval recall. So as I just mentioned a minute ago, each Pimsleur lesson is based around a comprehensive 30 minute audio exercise that's built around the context of a real conversation or exchange. That way your brain naturally starts to learn and integrate the rhythm, melody, and pronunciation of the Russian language. And then additionally, because the moderator of these mock conversations regularly pauses and prompts you to participate, you're constantly anticipating responses and answers, which accelerates the learning process and in theory activates new neural pathways in your brain. And finally, throughout each lesson, Pimsleur makes it a point to remind you of words and phrases that you've previously learned at gradually increasing intervals in order to move this information from your short-term memory to your long-term memory. And that's really what the Pimsleur curriculum is all about. Now, before we jump into the pros and cons, I just want to quickly talk about cost since this is an important point. Pimsleur offers two different monthly subscription options. If you want access to the Pimsleur Russian course, that'll cost you $20 per month. Or if for some reason you want to learn multiple languages, you can sign up for Pimsleur All Access, which costs an additional $1 per month, i.e. $21 per month. And you'll receive access to all 50 Pimsleur language courses, not just Russian. Or alternatively, if you're looking for a lifetime package as opposed to a monthly subscription option, you can always find that for $475 with Pimsleur. Now, if you stack this pricing up against competitors like Babbel and Rosetta Stone, Pimsleur is more expensive by around $5 to $10 per month on average. So it's definitely not the cheapest Russian program available, but honestly, it's not crazy expensive either like I've seen with some other apps. I've seen some that run for $30 or $40 per month. Plus, what's nice with Pimsleur is that if you're learning Russian with a friend or family member, they'll actually let you account split, almost kind of like a family account, effectively making the price $10 per month, which is right in line with competitors and very reasonable in my opinion. And it's also worth mentioning that Pimsleur offers a seven day free trial period, so you can always try this program out and see if you like it first before diving in and paying, which is really nice. Not all Russian language apps offer that. I'll have a link to that free trial sign up down below in the description if you wanna check that out. I'd personally suggest giving the free trial a go and at least kicking the tires on this app before paying. Okay, let's get into what I like and don't like about Pimsleur Russian after testing out and using this program. And like always, let's start with the positives. And number one is the fact that Pimsleur is a great choice for auditory learners given that each lesson revolves around an in-depth audio exercise. These guided conversations that I mentioned earlier are really the heart and soul of the Pimsleur curriculum. If you're specifically looking for audio lessons or if you're more concerned about learning to speak and understand Russian with less emphasis on reading and writing, then Pimsleur is gonna be a great match for you. Then next up, this somewhat relates back to my last point, but because a good portion of the Pimsleur lesson format is audio based, it gives you flexibility in how and where you can learn and complete lessons. Rather than being glued to your couch and staring at your iPhone screen at all times like you would with Duolingo or Rosetta Stone, you can take a break, put your phone in your pocket and make progress while you're cooking or working out or washing your car, for example. The flexibility of the audio lessons is just really nice. Plus the Pimsleur app even includes a special driving mode. So if you commute for work or if you're a road tripper, then Pimsleur is a great option. Okay, so pro number three, and this might be a little controversial among language experts, but I like that the Pimsleur Russian program includes translations and English directions, as well as an English moderator for the audio exercises. So here's the thing, some language learning companies out there, like Rosetta Stone for example, believe in 100% immersion, no English whatsoever. 
But the problem I see with that is that it oftentimes creates frustration and ultimately leads people to quit early. It's tough having no English at first. So I'm actually in favor of how Pimsleur strategically integrates the use of English within its curriculum. Plus, I think it helps with the anticipation principle that I mentioned earlier. You need that English guidance during the early stages of learning to help you anticipate answers and reinforce correct responses. Okay, so next up, I have to give a shout out to the company's new voice coach feature. This was something missing from the Pimsleur language program for the longest time, but luckily Pimsleur listened to people and added this feature. So here's how it works. As you complete the various verbal practice drills following the core audio exercise, the Pimsleur tech will be listening to provide feedback so you can improve and hopefully perfect your Russian pronunciation over time. And I have to say, I think Pimsleur really nailed it. I've tested well over a dozen different language programs at this point, and Pimsleur's tech is very, very good. It's quick, it's easy to use, and overall, I found it to be pretty accurate. And by the way, if you want to see some examples of what this voice coach tool looks like, make sure to check out that full detailed written review that I mentioned earlier. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you. I have a bunch of screen grabs and more detail over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. All right, so last up here, and I'll keep this one short, but I'm a big fan of the Pimsleur digital platform and mobile app. From a user experience standpoint, it's absolutely top notch. One of the best in the entire language learning industry. It has a modern feel to it. The app is really snappy and everything is just intuitively organized and easy to navigate. So I give them two big thumbs up here. Okay, so those are the major pros of using Pimsleur to learn Russian. Now let's get to the cons. But before I get to that, I should just mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free language learning subscription to one lucky person. Super simple to enter. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to get entered, but just know it takes like 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free subscription to Pimsleur. All right, so back to the negatives. And the first one is pretty simple. Pimsleur is not a great option for visual learners. As I stated earlier, this course is more so geared towards auditory learners. There's no video component to the course, and even the use of images and graphics is very limited. So if you learn best through the use of visuals, maybe a program like Rosetta Stone or Memrise would be a better fit. Okay, so next up, given that the Pimsleur lessons take around an hour to complete from start to finish, that includes the audio portion as well as the corresponding practice drills, Pimsleur is likely not going to be a great option if time is a limitation for you. In other words, if you only have five or 10 minutes per day to allocate towards learning Russian, then maybe a program like Babbel would be a better fit with their quick hit 10 minute lesson format. And lastly, while I appreciate Pimsleur's new voice coach tool and think it was a great addition to their program, I do have to say that the verbal practice exercises themselves are pretty basic. You're really just asked to repeat phrases and sentences without context. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I just wish Pimsleur allowed you to replay the audio exercise and take the place of one of the fluent Russian speakers, sort of like how the Rocket Russian program is structured. I think this type of conversational practice would be much more effective for improving your conversational skills. But anyway, that about does it for the detail in this review. So let's get to my final verdict. Is Pimsleur a good app for learning Russian? Well, after using and testing out this program, I think the answer is yes. In my opinion, it all starts with Pimsleur's learning framework. The company's focus on learning within the context of real conversations and then reinforcing that material through anticipation and spaced repetition is highly effective for learning Russian. Not to mention the company's new voice coach tool and modern easy to use mobile app adds a lot of value. It's true, I do have a few minor grievances with their program, but by and large, I think this is one of the most complete and well-rounded Russian language programs available, especially if you're an auditory learner. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something about Pimsleur Russian. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and drop me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written review that I mentioned earlier, just hop on over to our website. Again, that's testprepinsight.com, or you can check out the other videos we have on our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of great video content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.